Martin is over. All very welcome. I'm going to hand over to our trustee Martin Rosen um, and also to Ben Smith uh, just to say a few words about the 40th anniversary and 2018. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Anisha, and Borag Fung Earthless. <laughs> um, I'm so pleased about this. I've been involved with the Cartoon Museum uh, as a trustee now for about 15 years and as a, um, a leaguer for longer than that. And um, actually, this is what it should be about. 2000 AD is the alternative me. I could have gone there if I'd actually submitted that Judge Dredd story I've just been telling Ben about in <laughs> 1979. And I started reading about Prog 40. Um, and the proudest moment of my life, having my children being born comes a close second, but the proudest moment <laughs> of my life was when I was 19 and I got a letter published in 2000 AD complaining about one of those wonderfully self-referential strips about the, uh, the production droids putting together the, the prog. And I said, you know, if you carry on producing this kind of strip, some of your more gullible readers will think that you're... Zarja's comic is put together by real human beings. I do not presume to tell me how to run my comic. Roaster. And I got a five pound postal order. It was brilliant. And you know, 2000 AD is woven into the DNA of the culture of the second half of the 20th century in Britain. It is as essential as punk. It is as important as all the subversiveness of the 60s. I mean, it is absolutely central, and it is a joy and a privilege to have this brilliant artwork here in the Cartoon Museum. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Cartoon Museum, you haven't been here before, uh, we are a little independent museum. We receive no public funding. Uh, we are also a matriarchy run by Anita and her team. Uh, so any of you sort of game, uh, gate, patriarchal cunts out there. <laughs> <Tough shit>. um, <laughs> I rather blew that one, didn't I? <laughs> um, we have to thank various people. We have to thank, firstly, and mostly, Steve Marchant. Where are you, Steve? Steve, you curated this. If you, have, if you have small children, he will teach them how to draw, or I will then break their fingers. It's a crowded profession. Uh, we have to thank all the lenders and this fantastic artwork. We have to uh, thank all the volunteers and the staff here at the Cartoon Museum. And uh, before I hand over to Ben, I will just ask you to raise... A glass, I don't think uh, this has actually been proposed before, but actually, I think we'll do it now. So, Borag Thung. <laughs> Borag Thung. And now, let's just hand over Ben. Uh, hello, I'm Ben Smith. You probably, most of you won't know who I am, but I'm the head of publishing for Rebellion. Um, uh, Rebellion acquired uh, 2000 E when it was on its uppers uh, about 15 years ago. And um, it, was a, it, was, it was a purchase of love by uh, Chris, King, Chris and Jason Kingsley, the brothers who owned the computer company that was rebellion at the time. Um, and, and ostensibly the reason was, well, there's lots of IP in there that we can turn into computer games and that'll be the thing that we can do with this stuff that we're buying. But actually we're only buying it because we love it and, 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 and we can see it's, it's, it's being slowly left to wither on the vine of where it was at the time. And I have to say, it's been a remarkable 15 years, and to have got to the 40th anniversary, um, to still be working with so many of the talents who were there right at the beginning, between Pat Mills, Carlos Esquero, John Wagner, Alan Grant, so many, so many others, um, to have forged new connections with people like Stephen Manus, uh, one of the most important editors in British comics ever, uh, and to a publish a memoir of his recently that covers the early and the founding days of, of 2000 AD. Uh, we now sit at an extraordinary moment when the real achievement of those past 40 years, I witness every day where I have commissioning editors and uh, people high up in, 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 in media companies across the land and in America contacting and saying, oh, I love 2000. You know, this was my era. I was Prog 400, I was Prog 500, or, you know, all, all across. And so the, 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 actually, the, the, the influence that the Prog has had across British culture is quite substantial and to have reached you know, 40 years in the landmark and an exhibition such as this to recognise the work that so many incredible artists and the incredible writers have put into the comic is absolutely wonderful. So, I, you know, first and foremost, we've got to pay tribute to, to the countless, countless hundreds 
um, of artists who've worked for us and the dozens of absolutely astonishing talents. Um, and so I hope you do enjoy the exhibition. We're very grateful to Steve and Anita for, for, for putting this incredible show together. Um, hopefully we'll see some of you. Uh, we're doing a one-day 40th anniversary convention uh, in February. Uh, sadly, it's sold out. Well, wonderfully, it's sold out for me. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll see some of you there. But do enjoy this, and uh, please tell all of your friends. Thank you.